Hello, I'm Matt Rhodes and you join me here today down at Cromwell Lake in Nottinghamshire. We're here today to give you a brief walk around the fishery to point out some areas of interest and um, see what the place is all about. So yeah, let's go and take a walk around. So the lake's 18 acres in size and there's 18 swims on this venue and they're evenly spread which is quite nice there's roughly about an acre a piece per swim so there's ample water to go at it's a typical gravel pit there's plenty of ups and downs i mean it's a bit like an egg box out there really um, so you're never too far away from a gravel hum a weed bed or a silk gully um, stock wise there's, there's around 250 carp in here there's a handful of 40 pounders which go up to about 47 pound and there's 50 or 60 different 30 pounders at, at the right time of year so it's a cracking venue with a cracking stock it's really immaculately kept so yeah feel free to check it out so this is peg one on the fishery one of my favorite swims on the lake reason being it's the closest swim to the car park now all joking aside when the fish turn up here they turn up in numbers and it doesn't really tend to do small fish you know i've had a lot of big hits out of here and i've had a lot of big fish out of here and just but where them coots are diving just out there there's a few areas of interest it's really close to the outer bounds and the fish do really tend to hold up in there so be sure to check out peg one and don't ignore it because it's the closest swim to the car park so this is peg six on the fishery this is a prolific swim down here at Cromwell there is plenty of ups and downs in here and you'll find depths of up to about 18 foot I know there's some areas of interest at 24 25 wraps so if you can fish at that range it might be worth getting in this swim because it can really throw up some big hits so this is peg 11 guys very intimate close-up and personal bay um, and it can be really prolific at times and the wind moves in here the fish do too and again big hits can be had from just under the trees over there um, some really nice spots of sand down there and it does chuck up a few big fish in this bay so this is peg 15 on the fishery again another prolific swim there's a few areas of interest out towards them conifer trees at about 15 to 17 wraps you'll find different areas of silt and gravel and they really are an area that you need to be targeting when you're in here. It's a great area because you've got the deeps to the left and the shallows to the right. So it's a, it's a, it's a great, great place to intercept the fish on here. And when they're here, they're here in numbers. So check it out. So this is peg 16. Again, another really productive swim and one that you should be checking out, especially when the weed's up. Um, if you like your weed fishing, this is the swim to be because it's really proactive in here and there's a lot of areas of interest really. Again, you'll find some gravel and some silt, but fishing, fishing just beyond the weed beds seems to be what works well in here. You've got areas out to the roof of the building and to the gaps in the trees, only at about 12 wraps too, so it's nice and easily accessible and again, some fish to be had out of here. Peg 17, everybody's favourite. You might wonder why it's everybody's favourite. And the reason for that is you've got this rich overhanging trees all the way down here. You've got an average depth in this swim of sort of four to five foot, and you will find some twos too. When the fish turn up here, they turn up in the numbers. So don't ignore this area. You can have a look down the margins and sometimes you can see the fish underneath the trees. If you can see them under the trees, it means they're here. So get yourself in here for some awesome fishing. Peg 18, again, another fantastic swim. It's a large swim and it's really well manicured and it's really comfortable. If you want to double up in this swim, speak to the fishery manager and I'm sure they'll let that happen. There's a lot of areas that you need to concentrate on in this swim. The egg, bo egg box like features really come to life in this swim. So if you put a marker rod out at between 18 and 23 wraps, you'll find all sorts of different ups and downs out there. So find something that you like out there put a bit of bait in there, sit on your hands and hopefully a few fish will be yours. So there you go, that was a quick walk around of Cromwell Lake. We've taken a look at a few of my favourite swims, they're not everybody's favourites um, and all of the swims can produce on the given day. I hope you've enjoyed the walk and found it very informative, all the information's there, 
feel free to get yourself down here and enjoy the great facilities that they've got on offer down here. Thanks for watching, keep your eyes peeled for future videos and don't forget to check out Carp Radio.